Hello everybody, my name is Chris, and welcome back to more of The Witcher 3. So in the last episode we went and we uh, we played Gwent with uh, Roach and Taller. We got the Geralt of Rivia card. So we we got a great, great assortment of cards. All right, we also did another little side quest, you know, involving a ghost grandma that we didn't know was a ghost. But we also made a bunch of money. And then spent a lot of it uh, getting new boots and some upgrades. But we have enough to enter the tournament. And that is what I am going to attempt. Ah, and we are going to try beauty. today. Uh, specifically, we're going to see how this goes. If, if it all starts kind of falling apart, then we'll come back to the tournament. Because I'm assuming once we start we have to commit to the entire tournament and if it if it looks like it's something that we're just going to lose outright like pretty bad then i would rather we just come back later so we're going to try this we're we'll see where we're at and then the sunstone go from there <laughs> so uh cuz i know we got a, we got a lot of momentum Building up with all the with the main story, and it's all culminating with this confrontation with Aridin. So, uh, yeah, let's go. Yes. Want to enter the tournament? How do you play for high stakes here? Firstly, we must have the proper effects. Let's have a look at our cards, shall we? They gotta be worthy. The cards are in order, but can we afford the buy-in? Yeah, I get what? Honey. We can. Well, let's have a name <laughs> then, and we shall issue an entry ticket. Geralt of Rivia. Gerard of Rivia. Oh my god. The match will start soon, but the hoi polloi must first be driven out. We will please wait. Achoo! What are you... What are your allergies, man? Tournament participants only. Everyone else out. Achoo! We are cordially invited to come back tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Well, well. Geralt of Rivia. And I was beginning to think this tournament would be a dreadful bore. I'm afraid winning coin from peasants, thugs, and faux aristocrats is no great source of satisfaction for me. We know each other? Let's say we've some mutual acquaintances. I've heard many good things about you. In vivid detail. Oh my god. Hmm. Place like this, that's more a warning than a recommendation. What's your name? Sasha. Sasha. Sasha what? Or maybe just skip right to telling me your real name. Place like this, Sasha will need to suffice. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, so you're you're in the tournament too. Come to the Passiflora often? Seem to know everyone. I'm here from time to time. I cannot say all the faces are familiar, but that is Patrick Hazelnut. Never goes anywhere without those three. Met a man once who traveled with two Zeracanian warrior women as bodyguards, but those three... ...have other talents, clearly. The halfling's Bernard Tully, a farmer, claims to play for pleasure. But everyone wants to win, don't they? Right. Best beware of that one. He's not particularly fond of... ...others, outcasts, types like you. Ironic, since Phineas himself is a half-elf. And I'm certain you've heard of Count Tybalt. After all, he is the one who organized this tournament. Actually, I haven't heard of him. He's reputed to be fabulously wealthy. I can't say how true it is, but he was able to afford his title and the county that came with it. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. So... Okay, so every, this is a very variety of people here. So Phineas seems to be, like, someone to actually be concerned about. See you later, Sasha. 
Try to chat up the other players before the tournament begins. We must all wait for Count Tybalt anyway. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Let's mingle. Tim not. Positively divine performance. Now let's do it. Let's you talk with uh, Mr. Hazelnut. Mama. Apologies, but I must focus my thoughts before the match. Yeah, I can see that. Won't bother you then. <laughs> I can see that. This will certainly serve me better than your conversation with Sasha has served you. I'd be wary of her. Oh. Ah! What's up, Bernard? I'm new to this too. It took me ages to squirrel away the coin for the buy-in. Mushrooms are no quick route to riches. <laughs> Are you really a farmer? Why not look it? Got a little farmstead just outside the city. Could sit there for days just watching things grow. Huh. What's with the smell? The smell? Anywho, mushrooms are all well and good, but one's got to get away at times. My lady, she was in tears, said I'd get my throat slit in Novigrad. But I says to her, I says, Hortensia, what a chance. The best players, the rarest cards. She had to let me go. What a story. <laughs> she had to let me go. She had to. But, huh. Good luck to you. Likewise. Now, that's the sporting spirit. Not like that half-elf over there who's been shooting me murderous glares this whole time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of getting more worried about that guy. Just like... Like, he's here for Gwent, but I feel like he might just, like, fucking snap. Like... <laughs> no what? Playing tournaments often? What are to you? Perhaps you'd wish to see my cards as well. Am I a hee-haw for you to fondle before you choose? Shall I wag my prick for you? See your cards when we play. You would likely to advance that far, mutant. Okay, so he's a piece of shit. Okay, cool. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our closed Gwent tournament. By closed, I mean more than the mere elite nature of the event. Anyone leaving the Passiflora before the end of play will be disqualified. That's rule number one. Rules number two, three, and four are no fighting, dirty play, or magic tricks. We play for golden figurines. The winner will take them all, along with a monetary prize equal to nine times the buy-in. Easy enough to calculate that nine have entered. The tournament will consist of three rounds. The finalist emerging from said shall play me. Players will be paired by random draw. The groupings for the first round shall be read now. Holy shit. <laughs> Phineas and Tim Knott. Patrick Hazelnut and Harold Featherbuns. Gervolt of Rivia and Bernard Tull. Ah, how about that? Bramble Frontenstock and Chuh! Madam Sasha. His names. Excellent. A pleasant match to you all. Oh boy. Hey darling, like what you see? I'm busy. Oh my god, okay. Well, shit. Alright, Bernard. No I love how we have a different no name, credit. like, twice. Starting at last. A year down the road, I'll be plying Hortensia and my lads with tales of this night. Let's play! Well, his guy seems nice. You know, he's just, like, really into it. Uh, yeah, could I have Geralt in here? Uh, now that we have Geralt, I'm debating taking out one of these. Yeah. Okay, I think... It should be fine. 
Just want to make sure I don't have any more spy cards hanging out. Okay. How many horns do I have? I only have the one. Not sure if I should add a second one or not, but... Let's start here. Ugh. Oh, nice. Wow, okay. Hell yeah. Um... Sorry, Vesemir. Shit. Okay. And then... I kind of want to redraw this one just in the event of maybe getting... I mean, cool. That works. Alright. That's a lot of money if we win this. Holy shit. Like, wow. And I know, like, we gotta take it very seriously. <laughs> oh! Well, you had one of those. I like it. Oh no, it's right! Damn it! Ah, uh, it's a, it's a hero card. Can't do anything with it. <laughs> I can't get it back. That's okay. That's okay. We'll take the. It's fine. Oh, that's funny. Look at that. Same lineup. Throw. We're all throwing our spies out. Uh, if I use this, bring you back. Alright, come on. Throw Prince Dennis back out. Get those. Ooh, look at that. There we go. There it is. So we got we got these two, so we can bring we can bring some cards back. as a tournament, so I'm, I'm expecting it to be a little bit more impressive than, uh, than the other matches that we've done against other people, so. I'm thinking of playing these guys. So I will. <laughs> Yep. And there it is. We win. But he's still got seven cards, so it's not to be taken lightly. take that. Thank you. Well, that sucked. But that's okay. Minor, minor... Minor sacrifice. Okay. 
Don't play this. Ugh. I'm just gonna let him play his weather cards. I'm not worried about it right now. Mm. So if I bring back one of these versus one of these, it doesn't really matter because they both went into being eight. Mm. Yeah. Because I thought about bringing a blue stripe back because we have one in our hand. Okay, cool. Well, we got we got his got his main uh, leader card out of the way and his scorch. So really, uh, you know, we're drawing his attention. Okay. We're gonna win. That's just the way this is gonna go. <laughs> We're unstoppable. Come on, man. Let's go. All these hero cards. You don't stand a chance. Yes, we won. There it is. I could have played Geralt and everything, but it's fine. We won. It was a good match. Congratulations. Bit of a shame being eliminated in the first round, but so it goes. It is only a game. Having a good time. That's what matters. I mean, it did cost a thousand thousand crowns but you know aside from that so how did you fare in the first round not bad guessing you won too I've the distinct impression my opponent was drunk had an altogether decent hand but might have had a hard time concentrating hmm care to finish this conversation in private I have a proposition for you meet on the terrace upstairs <laughs> what um, I feel like that is a trick. That is a trap. She's, she's using, she'd be using her assets to s some sort of advantage. So no. Honestly, I'm just here to play cards. Oh well, too bad. Yeah, too bad. We, we're here with focus. Thank Time you. Time for round two. Your attention, please. Madam Sasha and Gilbert of Revia. <laughs> Gilbert. Phineas and Harold Featherbuns. <laughs> we wish you a pleasant match. May fortune smile on you always. Let's go. All right, Sasha. Bite me, Wolfie. Where are you going? Okay. So, what's it gonna be? Is she playing upstairs? You're a oh, yeah, one. I guess. I, can see it in your face. I was like, what the hell? Where are you going? I get no pleasure whatsoever from easy victories. So I should be very angry if you let me win. Don't plan to. Curious about that other proposition, though. <laughs> uh, that's right, we let nobody win. So don't think... I think we're good as far as everything we have. Let's see how this really goes. Alright, we got you. 
damn, we got all those. Holy shit. Okay. Um. I'm gonna redraw you. And. Uh, thinking about it for. I guess. Could be worse. Alright. Well, let's get these out. Oh, yeah, there it is. Cool. All right. All right. I think we can. I think we got this. Whew. Really hoping you do something like that. So then I can take him and use him against you. This is pretty good. A taller out there. Very good. As such. Hmm. Yeah. It's fine. that and then uh, one of these well play them both it's fine I have a plan if I I'm gonna save my decoy. I was gonna use it to pull back this, but I can actually use these two to pull it from the graveyard, which is better. You're done. All right. Our turn. What do we have in here? Okay, let's start there. Uh, yeah. There we go. Strong start. Okay. All right. I'll take it. It's all these big brain moves. It's impressive we're still still have pretty sizable hands. So we're all playing we're playing the spy game. Spies are so integral. It's imp what? What was that? Draw a card from your opponent's discard pile. What did you take? What did you steal? Oh, okay. Well... Mm. I don't want to play that in the event that he has a Scorch. I feel like he would. Then it kills both. Okay. Play Roach. 
play some of the untouchable cards first. He's gonna have to really try. Not worried though. So we got Geralt and we got Siri. And we got Geralt, Siri, Triss, and Yennefer. Got the whole gang. Let's try pretty hard to win against us right now. Oh, Fringilla. You know what? Yeah. We'll go. We'll go. <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! I knew some bull- it, it's exactly what I said was gonna happen. It, it, it happened. And I fucking knew it the second I played it. Oh. My god. And he... Uh. God damn. She was- she was holding out too. God damn it. Oh, that's funny. Well, you know, that's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. Hmm. Well, I hope your luck holds. It's not luck. It's called <laughs> raw talent. Ladies and gentlemen, the third round. The heat is on. The nearest round's winner will face Count Tybalt himself in the final. <coughs> Phineas and Gerard of Rivia. <laughs> I'll not play a mute. Are we to understand you forfeit this round? Fine. In that case? No. I'm not swiving forfeit the round. I shall squash him like a louse. A good match to you both. Please remember the tournament rules. No magic, no quarrels. Man, fuck this guy. You don't want to play just because we're... <laughs> you know what? I hope we delete him. Let's go. Not even worried. Not even worried. Wow, that is all three decoys. Holy shit. Okay. Uh. Okay. I'm kind of leaning towards redrawing this, but. Mm, Besmir. Okay. Okay, maybe this works. But it's really going to count on him playing spies, too. <laughs> Whew. Oh shit, okay. Let's go. He's gonna be so upset that we're gonna beat him. That he lost to a mutant. Wow, okay. Really? You passed already? That, see, there's your mistake. You're dumb. <laughs> okay. Holy shit. Ah. Uh. I feel like we've come too far to lose this round. But, what if I just forfeit it? 
then... Oh, what if I can win? I just need 20. I need 20. How can I do 20? If I do the... If I play the 8 and the 6... That is... 24 total. And then I need to play one of these guys. Is that worth it? Ah, oh, damn. We're we're too deep into the tournament. I can't be making foolish moves. I can't be can't be messing it up. So I could. And then obviously we play Yennefer. We can bring this one back. So I'd really be just losing these two, possibly. That's what I'm going to do. Oh no, my math was wrong. <laughs> oh god. I'm a fool. Where did I get 24? Oh, it's because I, I was doing it as 8 and not 6. Well... Fine, we're still gonna win. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. See? It's fine. It's all hero cards. What is that symbol? Destroy your enemy's clo strongest close combat unit if the combined strength of all his or her units is 10 or more. Destroy your enemy's strongest close combat. Well, we're not really using any, so... Ha! Ah. decoys have been completely useless in this match so far. Probably should have redrawn at least one of them. But then, you know, it's... you never know. So it's like, I shouldn't redraw the decoys. The d decoys are good to have. Running out of cards, though. Come on. Throw yen. Bring this. That's all we can do. So he's going to have to win in his next turn. And he didn't, so ha ha. Loser. <laughs> the mutant cheated. I'll gouge those devilish eyes out with my bare hands. Oh, calm down. Oh, oh. This is... What? Lost your nerve? What? Oh my god. Oh my god, no, not another fist fighting match. Okay. 
I'm trying to do the whole block twice and then beat his ass, but it's not working. Oh god. Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? Let's go, bitch. Let's go. Oh. Nope. Nope. Not today. Aww. Fucking sit. Fuck down. God, you piece well of shit. Played. Congratulations on both your victories. I'd wanted to summon the guards initially, but. Uh... Yeah, it's better I took care of it. Please, join me for the final. I must admit, I did not expect this outcome. Get a rather large sum on another player, in fact. Wow. Might have guessed there were multiple games going on. Might have guessed, but you know what? Get the fuck out of here, Phineas. Piece of shit. God. Okay. Huh. I don't... It's... It's fine. I've, I'm still confident we're gonna win. I don't, I don't have a doubt. But this guy's gotta be the best, right? He's gotta be the best. Let's begin. Let's begin. Let's go. Yeah, I was like, we didn't get anything from anyone, so... Like, there's nothing I'm, like, thinking we should take out, right? If I take out trebuchet... Maybe, but just that, like the the minimum unit cards allow more opportunity for spies and decoys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's give it a shot. Okay. Okay. Redraw you a decoy good good redraw you yes okay 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 there's a chance this could really work there's a chance we're gonna start out pretty strong start with you he's using the monsters deck okay Imlareth really holy crap all right right out the gate want to look at it. Damn, that's hardcore. Alright. Oh, Dijkstra. This card is all I have left of you. Playing this kind of game, I see. Go ahead. Play it didn't. So, okay. Well, take that. Uh huh. So I need I need thirty points. That's what I need be able to really really win this so lead honesty nope not gonna happen interesting I was hoping you would Take that. You're that confident, huh? 
Also, you're smart. You know, you're waiting until the... <laughs> Saving all your cards for the next round. All right. So literally, I just need 10 points. Um, and I can bring one of these guys back. So that's good. That's good. And then... So I don't have another one. Just play that and we'll win. And then we throw all of it down on this round. And we win. Flawlessly. Just to show them we mean business, we'll put up a we'll put up a roach first. This is gonna get this is gonna get impressive. It's gonna get all his monsters out now. Yeah, I kind of expected the crones, right? Like that makes sense. It's pretty standard for the monster deck anyway. I see what you've done. Geralt. <laughs> so I got three cards left. So. And I'm not ruling out that they're not some bullshit. So. <laughs> but he's got to play them. play Vesemir. Just to bait out something, like a Scorch. Not to use Vesemir like that or anything, but... Oh, well, well. <laughs> really holding on to that one for a second. Might as well use it against you. Even though it's my card. Alright. <laughs> well, you've already lost. And that's really unfortunate. But... You can't let it go just that easily. There. Uh, you know what? Blue stripe. We're just gonna go a lot of a lot of overkill just to see how far we can take it. There it is. <laughs> and that is how we win the Gwent tournament. In one straight shot. Superb match. A great pleasure. The prize will be yours. Thief, oh, we got... The coin's gone. The guard's been stabbed. What? what? How is this possible? No one's removed the coin from the premises. All those leaving were searched. Phew! We must scour the building. Anyone leaving must pass inspection. Somebody stabbed the guard. Before you ask, it wasn't me. Figured as much. My offer still stands. Perhaps you'd search for the coin with me. Uh. God, she's not manipulating us. I've, but maybe she is. I don't know. Her offer still stands. Perhaps you'd search for the coin with her. Rather not get involved, thanks. Or agreed. Do we... 
I'm wondering, does does rather not get involved? Does that mean we just leave? Because I mean, I I would like the money. It would be nice. But uh, we'll we will both look for the coin in the event that we find it. I'm not saying I trust her or don't trust her, but we should look for the coin because that's a lot of money. Agreed. Where do we start? We must get upstairs. Wait. What? I say, this witcher is Captain Hansen's good friend. He could examine the crime scene. Charge only a trifling. A fee? But... We will, of course, collect it from the captain personally. How is his injury from the other week? Has it healed yet? Well, I did it. Splendid. We shall go upstairs at once. <laughs> Just like the most manipulative. But it worked. The crime scene. Oh, shit. Uh, ne next time we see the captain, my lady, I'd um, appreciate your mention. That is all, good fellow. You may go. The Witcher requires absolute silence while he works. Of course. Of course. That went well. Really know the captain? Yes, a horrid man. Come now, get to work. Holy shit. What people won't do for 9,000 crowns. Yeah, I see a lot of things already. <laughs> we'll look at the body. Blows delivered from a strange angle. Expert though, precise. Yep. What's this? Somebody dragged something heavy towards the terrace. Crossbow bolt. A line tied to it. Line's clearly been cut. Thief might have used it to lower the sack of coin. He'd need an accomplice waiting down below to grab it. Hmm. Something down there, but I can't make it out. Suspicious. Must have been one of the players. Lowered the coin down on the line, then strolled past the guards. Hmm. This was well prepared. Think you can track the culprit down? Don't know yet. I'll look in the street, see if I can find anything there. Well, this took Come a on. turn. Oh my god. You know what? We were here for Gwent. We were going to have a fun time. Now, now it's just, it's all gone to hell. It's all gone to hell. Oh, we were going to win 9,000 crowns. Well, well, the witcher. Oh, it's tied up here. So it's more like a slide, like a zip line? Or did they slide it down all the way to here? Same as the one tied to the bolt. Gonna have to look around. Where's that scent coming from? Cinnamon. Strange. I don't smell a thing. Of course not. You don't have our incredible sense of smell. Have you paid Radovid his new war tax? Is it Hazelnut? Is that who it is? Ah! Hmm. And whosoever contributes coins to the chores, it even sounds his sins proud. shall be forgiven. Only unwavering strength. Haste makes waste. Culprit lost this grade. Must have fallen off the wagon. Can you be certain this was the thief's? Crossbow under the packages. <laughs> Itching to crack a pun about every rosemary having its. I appreciate you <laughs> resisting the impulse. Mm, I've seen this guild, Ma. It's a trading company's. One that imports spices from Zeracania. They have a storehouse at the docks. 
northernmost one on this side of the port. Shall I meet you there? Sounds good. All right. <laughs> Interesting. Reuben takes a cut. Clean the dish. I kneel before it's you. Huh. Oh, <laughs> this uh. Do come to the city. Do you see what I do? Fascinating, really. The fact this started out as a just a just a Gwent tournament, and then now it's a a theft. It was a heist. Really. Ridiculous. Ugh. Alright. Now. Thanks for your help. Do you want to get slapped? We've not nabbed the bastards. Was it an inside job? Was this planned from the beginning? From now on, or was it only planned because whoever was playing lost? Mom? Where are ya? I've got a piss like a racehorse. I. Ugh. I don't even know. I don't even know who it would have been. Like, obviously, the right? Oh, no. mm -hmm. There's some kind of... Look, well, look. Not great individuals. But that doesn't mean that they would resort to this. But we'll see. Let's see, I don't even know who the hell this could be involved. There are six inside. I wasn't able to get the door open. Gotta find another way in, then. There's always another way in. What if I... If I get up here... Okay. Yeah, it didn't really do what I was planning on doing, but... I climb on the roof. Ah! Alright. <laughs> to be like a really easy alleyway entrance. Here's the wagon. Smell the cinnamon now? Ooh. Huh. I was right about the warehouse. Look at you. Okay. Oh. Ha! Ah. Fools. Shit. Haha. <laughs> Who's in here? Is everything ready? Well, well, well. If it isn't. Oh my god. I am not even gonna lie. <laughs> I was like, there's no way that it was gonna be the guy who just does it for fun. Like, there's no way. There's no way. He just, like, the guy we beat first off. <laughs> My god, it really is. You were. You seemed like the best person there. And that also was probably why you're the most suspicious. But, son of a bitch. Wow. Which one's Hortensia? <laughs> the tall one. Masquerade's done, Tully. Give us the coin. Masquerade? <laughs> well put. Been watching you from the start, sweetheart. Though I ought to admit, I thought you'd follow me alone. Told him who you are yet? No? I'm sure he'd love to hear it. Go on. Tell him, or I'll tell Hortensia to break your fingers. What? Uh, what's he talking about, Sasha? <laughs> Release her. Release her. Let go of her. Step away. One of you restrain him, then make sure he gets a good view. Nope, y'all fucked up. Alright. I'm expecting we can talk about that afterwards, hopefully, maybe. Exactly what the hell he means. Whoa, shit. Oh my god. Oh. 
spend it to win it. Oh, good work. I did not, in fact, suspect him, whereas he clearly caught on to me long ago. Halflings can be unpredictable. At any rate, we've succeeded. Now to divide the coin. Oh, yeah. So what's this proposition that's supposed to convince me to share my winnings? No longer on the table. We retrieve the coin together. We shall divide it equally. Know what? Let's have dinner at the Kingfisher. My treat to celebrate my last day in Novigrad. Uh, interesting. Invitation accepted. Got other plans for the evening. Returning to Nilfgaard. Heading back to Nilfgaard? That why you needed the coin? I see you miss very little. Still got a touch of an accent. Ah oh, well. It seems I shall need a new trait. Anyway, I'm compromised in Novigrad, so... Who were you before you became a spy? I don't rightly remember anymore. But I suppose you can call me Cantarella. That your real name? Well, almost. <laughs> almost. We'll never, ever really know. Invitation accepted. Got other plans for the evening. I guess we could accept the invitation, right? I'd love to. Just have a nice time. As it turned out, the blue-eyed prostitute was actually his sister. He couldn't believe it. Oh, my. <laughs> he asked me to see her again at the House of the Night, and then... Fascinating story. Shall we go upstairs? You can show me exactly how it ended. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. It's like... You know... Okay. <laughs> Good idea, maybe some other time. You know what, we, 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 we could be nice. We could be better people. No, no sense being rude about it, I guess, right? Great idea. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Dear God. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, also, if it wasn't obvious, uh, the, the censoring has been taking so long <laughs> that I just decided to install a mod that does the censoring for me. Because this would be a whole lot different. It, it slipped away without a word. Of course. I was just ends with a letter on the pillow. That's funny. Letter from Cantarella. Geralt, forgive me for leaving without saying farewell, but you were sleeping so peacefully. Almost made me want to nick your cards and coin. Or at least read all those letters you carry around in your pockets. Old habits die hard. So you're, till our next meeting then, perhaps one day, I'll see to it that we bump into each other completely by accident. Cantarella. So she almost stole our shit. And the money. And read all the letters. Because we got... That's, that is funny that she says though. Because we have like... Oh my god, how many... Like 40 like letters, flyers, and everything just shoved in our pockets. Um, but I'm going to assume. Okay, cool. See, we trusted her. It was fine. Oh, 
we don't have the superior gauntlets. Or trousers. Because it was expensive, that's why. Alright. Son of a bitch! There we go! Hell yeah! Not only did we win the tournament, we didn't lose a single match either. We won. We fucking crushed it. But... Yeah, 4,500 crowns. The 9,000 would have been really nice, but, you know, it is what it is. And that's okay. It's alright, feels good, we did it. We beat the tournament, hell yeah. Hell yeah, we met a spy. That was cool. So, look at that, we're... We unwound after, uh... After some Gwent. So we've had a good time. So now we're going to do the Sunstone on the next episode. So thank you very so much for watching. And uh, let me know what you thought. About this tournament. This events. Cantarella. Will we ever see her again? Who knows? Was she ever real? Is that even her real name? Probably not. I mean, she said it's not. But that doesn't matter. Okay. Cool. Well, thanks again for watching. Seriously, really appreciate it. Thank you for sticking through all this Gwent. And, uh, crushed it. So get ready for the Sunstone on the next one. See you then. Bye-bye.